Mark, it's regarding connections mm-hmm. in Hollywood. I have a quote here. I don't know who said it. Uh, connections are good, but nobody is going to put their business in jeopardy because of a connection. Oh, that's absolutely true. Did you say that? Oh, no. Okay. I don't know where we no, got this no, quote. No. Mm-hmm. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. No, no, I didn't. It's true, though. Okay. It's, it's a business, especially now. And it's become a very risk adverse business, especially now, because people don't like going to the movie theater unless Spider-Man's there. So studios, they're spending the money where the money's going to get spent. So you can know Lorenzo De Benaventura who runs, or one of the guys that runs Warner Brothers. And you can be like, hey man, I know you're doing a lot of stuff right now. I got this musical about socks. (laughs) Lorenzo's probably gonna say, you keep that to yourself. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's a business. And, And it's shifting, like daily, especially now, with all the streaming wars going on, and everybody's pissed at Netflix. They're pulling their content off of Netflix to start their own streamers and they're trying to brand themselves like this is what we do this is what we don't do and other people are like counter branding against that to get their own it's a lot of money at stake it's a lot of it's business like if what you do lines up with their business model cool doesn't mean you're not talented doesn't mean what you do isn't great means it doesn't fit them just had a, a pitch meeting that went amazing at a major cabler. And executives were totally into what we had done. They're like, this is really funny and it's timely, great. But they're rebranding and their brand is this. And my show is this. So they were like, it's great. The writing's great. It's going to be a fun show. It's not for us. And that's fine. You know, because everybody is doing what they need to do for their business. I don't advocate doing or changing your stuff to fit somebody's business. But it doesn't hurt, I don't think, to sort of pay attention to what networks studios, cablers, streamers, what are they doing? And what do I have in my arsenal? Where does it fit? Where does this make sense? You know what I mean? Because you're in a business too. Your business is getting your brand out there. And there's somewhere for every brand. You've got a brand, they've got a brand, you just gotta find the brand, links up. So. That's my very long-winded answer to that, to that question. So when someone says, well, now I'm mad because person B won't help me get to person A, and they're just trying to hold me down, and, and it's just, this, this industry is no good, everybody's trying to, is that really it, or is it just like, look, we all have our own sort of name and reputation at stake, I'd love to help you, but... For that person, yes, that's true. Because they've made a decision to see it that way. So for them, it's true, it's absolutely true. Um, The great thing about being a human being with a brain is you get to decide how you see things. You get to choose how you react to what happens to you. So you can decide, well, this sucks. It's never gonna happen. Everybody sucks. And you take a script, you put it in a box, you put it under your bed, and you walk around and be mad. Or you can say, all right, well, those are two people in an industry with thousands of people. And somehow my work made me a friend. 
which means it probably will make me another friend. So I guess what I need to do is keep going and find another spot, another avenue, another outlet, another way to get this material that I believe in into the right hands. The right hands is super important because it's not about just getting the thing set up, or getting the thing sold. You can get the thing set up and get the thing sold. And if it's in the wrong hands, it's going to be crap. You know, you need to be able to lock in with whoever is going to be working with you to bring the thing to fruition. That's what makes a film or a show great because everybody, for the most part, gets on the same page. I mean, there's always disagreements and, well, I think this should happen. I think this character should be here, not there. That's it's just part of it. But if the overall goal is the same, that's what you want. So if person B cannot take you to person A or will not take you to person A, it's not the right fit. There's a good fit. It's out there. It's just not this person. And this person might be a better fit for that other thing you got. So make sure you got another thing. Like I tell the writers all the time, like if you want to get cooking and you've got a script you dig, that's awesome. Um, you should never stop believing in it, but you should have something else. Because again, brands, people could be like, I'm not into this, but I like the writing. What else you got? And then if you don't have anything else, you're sitting there going, uh, remember the attention span. It's really short. So if you can't come back and say, oh yeah, I got another thing. Why don't we talk next week about the new thing? forget people see a lot of people especially executives oh my god the scripts that they read the pitches they have to see all of that continual stuff coming at them it's very very rare for those guys to remember this one specific thing that i saw three months ago they can it happens if it really stood out to that one person or whatever but, you know, better your odds. Just keep making content. You know, it's important. I think.